What's happening, Potsdam High School? David Flood here, coming to you with a little thank you message to, well, really two, two reasons. Number one, I was at your school. I don't know when you're watching this, uh, last week or two weeks ago. Maybe you're watching this next week. Maybe you're watching it this week. I don't know when you're watching it. Uh, I hope some of you remember me, maybe three, uh, besides JT um, and TT. I think I met a Tyler, right? I don't remember what Tyler's last name was, though, but... Um, you know, Jordan Tishberg brought me there, and uh, what an awesome day I had. It was great for me. I hope that, that you guys and girls all got something out of my visit. Um, so I wanted to say thank you for the way that you treated me with dignity and respect uh, all day when I was there. Um, and it was nice to have Jordan escorting me around the school, which was awesome. That doesn't happen too often. Uh, so thank you for that. And the second reason I'm coming back with this video is to remind you all of the three challenges that I gave you when I was there. And they were to look on the inside of people, not judge people, or you know, do, you, do the best you can to not judge people. And if you do judge people, don't form an opinion based on that judgment. You know, Give people the benefit of the doubt. Get to know them and let them get to know you in an honest way. And the second challenge I gave you was to reach out, give thanks, show respect, connect with two adults in the building. It's so important, guys and girls, so important that you have a trusted adult in the building that you can go to when you're struggling because you spend a lot of time there and there's a lot going on in your lives, in the school and out of the school. But if you just have someone there that you can talk to, and a, listen, a friend is great, a peer, a classmate, someone who's their age is awesome, but an adult can give you so much more perspective on what you're going through and be a, just a great listener. I promise you that. So reach out, give thanks, show respect uh, for two adults in the building. And the third challenge, you know, I was in the cafeteria um, for a little while. And, you know, if you can't look for an opportunity to include people, you know, I said no one eats alone. That's a great place. You can practice this when you're in a group of people around having a conversation and one person isn't kind of included. They don't know what's going on. So you look for an opportunity to include them or introduce them. I love introducing people when I go somewhere where there are people that don't know each other, and I know both of them, or the different groups. I love introducing people, uh, and I love including people who are not included in the conversation in any way that I can. So look for those opportunities. They happen, I promise you, they happen every single day. If you're aware, if you keep your radar on, you'll recognize them when they're happening. So I wish, all the seniors, I wish you well. Uh, hope I cross paths with you down the road. Potsdam, I'd love to come back. I hope I get to see some of you again. Um, but take the challenges. I hope that they help you. I uh, hope you have uh, awesome holidays, whatever you're celebrating, Easter, Passover, St. Patrick's Day, if that's you, if you're watching this before St. Patrick's Day. I hope all you guys and girls are well, and I look forward to seeing you down the road. Have a great day.